Wanna chug these cream sodas like two really good bros? Ah, no thanks, Sal. Maybe I could get some eggnog from up front. When you chug that, it feels like you're drowning. Does anyone have something they'd like to say? Okay, fine. Sal and I are having sex in the dressing rooms. Well, well, well. Look who banged the pharmacist. Yeah. I guess sometimes Kermit goes home with Beaker. Dennis, did I put you on go-backs or did I tell you to stand around crying about your dead dog all day? Get in the game. We're understaffed. And I don't know how you're supposed to take it when you find out the woman you're dating is pregnant with another man's child. Ugh, you should have asked me. I've had that conversation multiple times. I think what Garrett's trying to say is that if we ate human women, then we could drink their milk. What? Oh, wow. Oh. I can do... Uh, one-eyed zombie, motorcycle accident victim, bride of Baba Duke, and then this one makes it look like your head is eating the rest of your body. Amy here is a maniac. She's loco. Uh, yeah, loco. Loco about busting perps. I don't understand why Amy's allowed to wear a mustache, but I can't wear my dreadlocks. And I can't wear a grass skirt and coconut boobs. Let her wear the coconut boobs, you monsters. I remember a glitch in the original Donkey Kong where it looks like the ape has a penis. Sometimes when I'm playing The Sims, I give myself a family. Jesus Christ. But I think that maybe we need a woman's perspective. Yeah. Well, I think I think a woman would say she's just happy to be a part of the conversation. Just have it say, uh, congrats on the baby. Yeah, five bucks. I can do curses for you. All packed up. Yep, just about. Well, I wanted to give you something. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Thank you. It's Myrtle. Root beer fixes everything. Gallstones, pink eye, it'll clean your toilet. It's kind of the perfect food. Oh. 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 You guys are missing out. Mm. What a unique experience it must be moving around a store on wheels. Amy is pregnant. The baby is Adam's. I was the first to know because I am her best friend. And Justine, no one went to your bar crawl because you are unpleasant to be around. <laughs> unpleasant in bed. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you know how me and Carol hate each other. Well, I hate her, actually. She looks up to me. Anyway, I paid four different guys to come into the store and ask her out and then never show up. Nice. Damn it! Ah, just trying to cut off my thumb. <laughs> just go when you say go. Just go when you say the word go. Go on the word go. Go! I, damn it! Damn it! Bad! Attention employees, make your way to the break room for a harassment meeting. Shoppers, go about your business. This is a private matter concerning our floor manager, Amy, and a 14-year-old boy. Tina. I look terrible. Oh, I... No, I mean, I look terrible. Benefits. Benefits, good. Very good. Unionization. <clears throat> Can't say the word. This isn't taboo. Incest. What? It's taboo in every culture. Okay, uh, well, who hasn't shared yet? Uh, Garrett hasn't. Oh, Garrett? Oh, no, I've lived a blessed life. I have something. My first apartment was in a pet cemetery. You're saying if we let Amy wear that costume, then we might as well let Marcus wear blackface. Uh, well, that's no. a false awesome. awesome. Okay, so if women can show their boobs in the store, can I walk around with my penis hanging out? You can't feed a baby with your penis. But if I did, then it'd be okay. Wait, you're fighting for the right to walk around the store with your penis hanging out? No, I'm just trying to figure out where the line I mean, is here. Corporate yeah. sent us some sort of newfangled automatic cart collector. They say it's part of a pilot program. Okay. I'm sorry, what are you supposed to be? The back of a horse. Jerry was supposed to be the front, but he's in Fort Lauderdale with Carol. Oh my God, he's so cute. My ovaries are exploding. It's like scrambled eggs, anyone? Oh, no. Gnome, sweetie, you're gonna come out of that tent, okay, hon? Now, whether you're conscious or unconscious is up to you. Are you really gonna throw a bug bomb in there? No! We have a Sikowitz? That's me. Wait, do you know Ricky Sikowitz? He's my cousin. What? <laughs> he's my cousin, too. <laughs> oh, we should probably stop doing stuff. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say that, too. Lainey, make sure Tate's not trying to sell our customers timeshares. Todd, keep Sal at least 100 feet away from women's wear, and women in general, if possible. Guys, come on. It's just an envelope. It's gotta be somewhere. Oh, look. I found my retainer. Oh, mm. ah. You've been to prison, right? Yeah. 
I mean, like, barely. Long enough to form lifelong friendships. What do you think uh, a guy like me would do in there? Baby face, kind eyes, soft skin, cute tummy. You'd be very popular. Well, we can likely rule out foul play. According to his license, he was 87. Probably died old age. My great grandma died the same way. Her mom, too. Bad genes, I guess. So she just kept the dead man's wallet, and we're all OK with that. Finders keepers. Guys, I'm telling you, the human mammary dairy market is about to explode. Question, if I invest, can I still eat regular cheese? Dude, no. We heard about you two, about how you don't want Myrtle to have a good afterlife. What? No, we... <laughs> I'm Sandra, and I'm a dirty slut who goes around stealing other people's boyfriends. Oh, yeah? Well, who's this? I'm Carol. I'm a jealous psycho stalker who can't take the fact that Jerry chose Sandra over me. And now they're moving in together and they're gonna be so happy. And I'll be alone. Which is sad. Jeff, what we want is for Glenn to be rehired as store manager. I would sooner slit my throat and Jeff's throat before I'd let that happen. Dina? It... Teen mom. Yeah, but weren't you 19? Well, could... Still a teen. In some countries, that's considered late. Angola, for instance. OK, well, we're not in stupid Angola, Marcus. Uh, good, because you wouldn't last five minutes there. We can all go back to work um, unless anyone wants to file an official complaint of racial bias. Sandra? I often feel uncomfortable in the stockroom. There's a man there, Sal, who makes comments about my breasts. Yeah, OK, what you're talking about is sexual harassment, and that's a whole other video. OK. It's just that sometimes he calls me at home. Yeah, we're not going to watch another video, Sandra. Wow. Can't believe you came in your day off to sell cheese you made out of breast milk. Yeah, well, it's been a lot of trial and error. You know, if you don't get the consistency just right, you get boob yogurt. You know, that's just gross. You know, then there's the scavenging. Oh, and then my lizard ate a bunch of my samples. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go back to scavenging. Well, I mainly work with found milk. Found milk? Mm-hmm. You know, a mom leaves a bottle on a table at a food court and you figure she's OK with people taking a little off the top? My mailman uses the bathroom in my apartment every day. He used to knock, but then he made me make him a key. I heard about your living situation. And if you want, you can crash with me. That's really nice, Marcus. Thank you. Yes, at the horsemen living together, partying hard, luring ladies back to the pad. I'm sorry, luring? Oh, fun fact, the dude that voiced MC Cool Cloud committed suicide in 1994. No. Yeah, that's terrible. That makes sense. I also think we need parking lot buddies so that no one has to walk to their car alone at night. I'll be paired with anyone but Sarah. That girl's got like a huge restraining order against me. You watching porn? Yup. Mm. I'm a hunter. Some people like to hunt elk or deer. I hunt people. And your head is going on my wall. It's white. You. Yeah. What does that mean? Maybe you guys are having a white baby. That's awesome. Congratulations. What about best wishes from your Cloud9 family? Um, family feels a little weird since a lot of us are banging each other. <laughs> Guilty. I think what Garrett's trying to say is that if we ate human women, then we could drink their milk. What? Oh, wow. Oh. There is a, all right. Now, Sandra, it, it says here that you want to kill a coworker named Carol. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> oh, no. Are you serious? So you'll have to do the makeup yourself for the trip back. Or you could just stay like this the whole time. I wish I could wear your skin. What was that? What? I was just saying she had really great skin. Hey, guys, I'm pregnant. Oh, my god. Oh, what? Wow. What? what? Well, I can tell already. I compared the pictures. What pictures? What pictures? Oh. 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 Is this worse? We did what we could, yeah. you know? So who knows? Maybe we got a shot. Yeah. Ah! Oh, my god. It's, oh, my god. Oh, my god. OK, Justine, calm down. No, that's the right reaction. There's like eight severed feet in there. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. 
God! Today, a new chapter in one of St. Louis's darkest stories. A duffel bag filled with eight severed human feet has turned up inside the Ozark Highlands Cloud 9 store. One employee has agreed to tell us what he knows. Jonah, this is not the first time feet have been found here. In fact, the internet has already dubbed this store Tozark Highlands. Marcus, is that your thumb? That was the coroner's office. A gas main blew in a shoe land. Oh, God, which shoe land? Uh, who cares? They're all the same. The point is, they're not going to be here for a while. Oh, come on. Which really? shoe land? My husband works at a shoe land. I don't know, Jody. I didn't ask the man every little question in the world. Well, how long are they going to Which shoe land? Jody, I cannot with you right now. Chicks are going to be banging down the door, and we'll be like, uh, please, ladies, one at a time. One at a time, as in there's, there's two of us and one of them? I swear I'm a size eight and a half. <laughs> uh, it's fine. We have a nine right here. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, God. Uh, God. God. Help. Help. Oh, my God. You look adorable. OK, here. Take it. Destroy it. Douse it with the holy water and set it on fire. What about the wedding? I'm not going. Okay? It's not worth it. I don't like what's happening to me. I need to wash this all off before it's too late. This happened to my uncle once. Oh, I love how they put him in a uniform. Like he's a dead employee. <laughs> it's so cool. No! Th this is not a Halloween display. That is a real dead body. <laughs> I don't know why you don't have a gurney. Yeah, I was going to get one, but they're like 100 bucks. Ah, budget cuts. Thank you, Governor Graytons. <laughs> so where am I supposed to put this thing? Well, where you normally put it. I guess I could put it on my lawn. I guess. Chuck, what are you doing? Did you get the hummus? Hummus? Put the body down! down you I was doing what I told you! I was doing what I told you! OK, OK! Is this your family? Oh, yeah. You're so clean. Your resume says you have a lot of experience babysitting. Uh, actually, it just says watching kids. This one's eyes are dead. But this one's eyes are alive. What do you call her? Oh, her name Do is... not tell him her name. OK. About the questioning, just had to make sure you were real coroners and not just here for hummus or something. Sure, yeah. Well, here we are. And you didn't touch the body? Absolutely not. <clears throat> hey, buddy. You want some ribs? <laughs> 